Today we're going to look at using tangent lines. In this question, we have a graph which is drawn previously using experimental data. Across the x-axis, there's time. On the y-axis, there's concentration of the substance. The substance is measured in moles per decimeter cubed. We can see that the concentration is decreasing over time. Uh, the graph is falling. We're asked to determine the rate, reaction rate when time is equal to 10 minutes. We're going to need to draw a tangent line to that. So let's have a look at a tangent line. If I take this ruler and place it straight like this, it, I can draw a straight line along here. We can calculate the equation of that straight line. It's going to have a certain gradient. If I move the ruler, the gradient particularly will change. If I set the gradient of my ruler like this and move it towards the straight, towards the curve, we notice it's going to touch the curve only once at this particular point. We want to move the ruler up to the curve so it touches just once, not twice. That's because the, this point on the curve has the same gradient as this straight line that the ruler is creating. What we want to do is we want to find the gradient of the curve at this point when time is equal to 10. That means we need to move the ruler up to that point and touch it just once. If you notice, this is roughly in the right place, but if I wiggle the ruler slightly, you can notice the point at which it's going to touch the curve moves as I change the gradient. Here the gradient will be higher, because the gradient of the curve in this region is higher. Here the gradient will be lower, because the gradient of the curve is lower in this point. So I wiggle my ruler around, keeping it close to the curve, until it perfectly touches just at the point I'm interested in and I can draw my straight line. This is my tangent line. This is a tangent line. We need to calculate now the gradient of this tangent line. We need to find some coordinates along this line where it's easy to read off. We want it to go exactly through a particular point. I think here we have a good spot for reading off a coordinate. The coordinate here is at 15, 16, 17, comma, the scale over here, this would be 0 0.1. That's 17, comma, 0 0.1. Let's find another good point where we can read it off easily. And maybe here. Maybe here would be a good point, or here on the axis. I think I'm going to go for this point here. It seems to go exactly through that point. You want to keep your two points as far away as possible. You're going to get slight errors in this method. So the further apart you keep these points, the more the error, percentage error, is reduced overall. So take your two points as far away from each other as possible. The coordinates of this point is going to be at 4, comma, this is 0 0.5, this is 0 0.55. 0.55. The reaction rate is simply the gradient of the curve at this point. The reaction rate is equal to the change in concentration over the change in time. That's going to be the change in y over the change in x. We can use a difference quotient for this. We have the y value here at 0.1. We have the y value here at 0.55. We have the x value here at 17. We have the x value here at 4. We can put this into our calculator with 0.1 minus 0.55 divided by 17 minus 4. And this gives us a reaction rate of it's a, it's a reaction rate and the difference quotient is minus 0 0.035 approximately. Okay, so we see here the gradient obviously is going to be negative. We get a negative value. 
but the reaction rate is going to be expressed as positive. So the reaction rate is 0 0.035. That's going to be in moles per decibeta cubed per 